Hi folks, so maybe if you follow me on social media or just have noticed a couple of things on my channel then you may have seen that I am now a Lenovo brand ambassador or as it's known a Lenovo insider and uh, I have been sent this a thank you box. Yes, this rather large orange parcel turned up on my door uh, a few days ago and I'm gonna unbox it now. And I thought that maybe this might make a, a kind of a nice video. Now, why have I gotten this and why am I a Lenovo Insider? So, okay, if you, if you follow me at all, then you'll notice on my banner at the top of my channel and on the intro to my videos, etc., etc that yeah I, I've got a couple of ambassador titles and things like that and that's because other than being a YouTuber other than being a digital artist um, I actually do work with a lot of tech companies and that's as a beta tester and kind of a consultant and things like that and it comes from a very fundamental belief that I hold which is that as digital artists we have a duty. We have a duty to kind of put in what we take out. It's up to us to help the technology that we use to evolve. Now one thing I kind of have a pet peeve about is that a lot of people go online and just moan about what they wish the technology could do. Oh, I wish it could do this. Oh, I wish it could do that. Well, as far as I'm concerned, get involved. I... You know, I, I wish that technology could do this. I wish that some tablets could do that. But what do I do? Well, I talk to those manufacturers and I say, this is what I want. This is uh, what I think should happen. I get involved and I help those brands that I like to make their next generation of devices better. And do you know something? This doesn't pay money. None of this pays money. Yeah. But what it does do is it helps the technology actually evolve. And I've been doing this for a lot of years now. I've been using technology for a lot of years now. And that's why I've that's why I talk to a lot of companies. That's why I've been talking to a lot of companies for a lot of years. And it really works. And through myself and a lot of artists I know, you know, this is why you have the technology you have. This is why the technology that artists use is as good as it is. It's because there are a group of artists out there who talk to the companies. You know, that's how they get their research done. So, that's why some of us end up with big orange boxes and some of you don't. <laughs> anyway, anyway, but I am now a Lenovo Insider. I feel very honored to be a part of this very, you know, this very prestigious group. Um, Lenovo do some absolutely, absolutely astounding tech that hopefully I'm going to be showing you a lot more of. Obviously, you saw the Lenovo Yoga A940, which is absolutely awesome. And Lenovo have been doing a lot of amazing tech uh, over, over the years, of course. But recently they have been doing a lot more for the creative industry as well. So I'm going to be getting a lot more involved with Lenovo as well. But right now, let's just crack this open and see what's inside. So straight out of the box, the first thing I notice is a note inside and it reads, Dear Lawrence, you are a valued member of the Lenovo Insiders. Thank you for your participation and support. Hope you like this box. And the first thing I'm going to pull out here is this notebook. Now my office is pretty much paperless these days, but that's absolutely great. And it has that Lenovo in, meaning Insiders branding right on the front. Now what's this? This is a strange little piece here, a bit out of focus there, but adds to the mystery. So let's pull it in. 
this laptop, the world's smallest laptop here. Um, Non-functional, as you may notice, but what is it? It's actually a fridge magnet. So yeah, the, the lower half of it here uh, actually magnetizes, uh, but it works, the hinge is fully functional. That's really cool. That's a Lenovo Yoga magnet. So really strange, but really, really cool. The world's smallest laptop and even has ports on the side, as you can see, all the detail on the bottom, the top, inside, out, it's all there. That is so cool. And obviously I can put that with my uh, little Lego me. So brilliant, looks perfectly proportioned for him. Next out is a t-shirt. I have tons of t-shirts. I never pay for t-shirts, funnily enough, because I, I get t-shirts from everywhere. Um, I, I love them. I love freebie t-shirts. I Part of me just wants to set up a P.O. box and ask people to send me t-shirts because, um, yeah, I love t-shirts. And it fits, and it's really comfy, and it's got something on the sleeve. And on the back, you guessed it, Lenovo in. Hashtag Lenovo in. Guys, use that hashtag and let me know what you think. Next up, stickers. Who doesn't love stickers? Let me know. Do you put stickers on your device? Um, for me, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of sometimes, I have done in the past. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Let me know in the comments. Do you put stickers on your 2-in-1, on your laptop, on your tablets? Do you use stickers? That one's kind of cool. I like that sticker. For me... I use stickers on notebooks, so that's it. These stickers are all gonna go on my good old fashioned notebooks. Still trolling around a few notebooks, so yeah. Mouse pad, um, I don't use mouse pad. Haven't used a mouse pad in a fair years. I know a lot of gamers still use mouse pads. Tend to be the longer, thinner ones uh, for keyboards and mice, but for me, not so much. There is a mouse in here though, the Lenovo 300 Wireless Compact Mouse. I do need these from time to time, especially when testing pieces of tech, when testing uh, devices that come in. It's good to have a wireless mouse. Now this one comes with a USB receiver and you know, it's just really handy to have something like this which is especially compact as well. So yep. This is going to be crucial for for just, you know, testing other devices. Ooh, but what's that? A yoga book. Haha, <laughs> didn't spot that in there before. And a mystery box. Very, 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 very cool. I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to come back to that because I've just spotted something else. Something I've wanted for a little bit of a while, actually. I And this is a bit of a geeky thing, but a pop socket. Um, yeah, most of you won't care about this or know what this is, maybe. I don't know. It's one of those things that you stick to your phone. Um, many of you will already have one of these. I, I've kind of been too lazy to pick one of these up. Um, definitely not strong enough to get it out of the packet. But, yes, pop socket. You stick it on your phone and it allows you to grip your phone. Especially if you have a bigger phone. Now, I have uh, the... Samsung Note phone, which is a bigger phone. So for me, that'd be absolutely cool, and I can just use it like this in my hand, and it allows me to just grab my phone, but also to prop my phone up like this when I'm watching a bit of TV. Cool. Mystery box. Mm, I do love me a good mystery box. Leaving it. Right, we'll come back to that. But what's this? Ooh, eye-catching. Colourful. Let's open it up. It's in a little packet. I know what it is. It's cleaning cloth, isn't it? Yes, that's what it looks like. It's a Today Smart Cloth. Ooh, Smart Cloth. I don't know what that means, but yes, Premium Microfiber Cloth. That seems interesting. Okay, yeah, Um, I, I've got a few microfiber cloths. Obviously, every time you get a drawing tablet, um, obviously when I review tablets, etc., etc., I get, you know... Uh, microfiber cloths. This one really does look premium though. I will give it that. And I do like the color. Most of them are just plain black. And this one is a good one. So, yes, brilliant. And I like the travel case for it. My my other one is getting a bit tatty. So, the mystery box. It's a phone stand. And again, it has that Lenovo Insider branding. 
So, awesome. Um, it's good. It's pretty okay to, to have around on the desk. Typically, I don't tend to use things like this, but very handy. I like that branding. Do you know something? I I, I might repurpose that little metal plate. Mm, I don't know. Is that bad of me to say that? This is going to come in handy. Again with the branding. I like that. It feels good to drink from. I do like that. <laughs> That's cheesy, I know. Forgive me. Ah, and on with the main event. This is what's in here. This this is this is what the big orange box is all about. Those two screens. The Lenovo Yoga Book C930. I've been looking at this for a while. Yeah, I think I actually I may have dropped a couple of hints to Lenovo about this one. Um, yeah, I like this. This is um this is the thing to me. Wi-Fi comes in iron grey, 256 gigabytes. Uh, yeah, a 10.8 inch display. It has an e-ink screen as well as the, you know, the regular color screen. It has a Wacom AES stylus, um, 4,000 levels of pressure. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. Now, we also have a, a rucksack. This is the Lenovo rucksack here. Looks pretty cool. I like this. This is nice, actually. So this is the Lenovo Casual Backpack B200 Dark Charcoal. Mm. Ooh, with an orange interior as well. And it looks like, yeah. So it's a fairly straightforward, simple backpack. Better just make sure there's no more goodies inside. <laughs> I know I'm greedy. I'm greedy. I can't help myself. What do you want? Um, yeah. And it looks like, yeah, actually pulls out to be quite a nice, thick, you know, kind of backpack. So if I go to any events, you know, I can always fill this full of goodies. And, uh, I, you know, I can always um, take plenty of clothes and other things and camera equipment and stuff with me as well. So, yes, um, that that's actually a really good backpack. I like that. I always need more backpacks. I go through them like nobody's business. The yoga book, that's obviously the main thing. Let's crack this open with a scalpel now. Try and not hack the packaging apart. I do like do like the packaging here. That's really nice. Obviously, because I'm doing this all in one shot, it's going to be notoriously hard to get off, I'm guessing. Let's just take a look at what this says right here on the front. So this ultra thin and light, e-ink productivity, precision pen ready and long battery life now yes because this has a one screen being e-ink if you are using the e-ink screen and you're not using the regular screen that battery life will just be amazingly long um, and it's such a thin device I think this device is basically about a centimeter thick when it's closed and it's ultra ultra light as well. Everything I've read about the specs wise is is kind of off the chart. Uh, if you're looking for a really light and thin device to draw on, this is it. So I'll do a full review of this later. But you know, I I've been kind of captured with this. I liked the previous version, but I think this is definitely you know another step above it. So we'll just quickly unbox this, but we'll do a a full review in another video. This device has some great features and we really, really want to show those off. So yeah, I'll come back to all of those in that separate video. One of those features though is the, woo the idea that you can tap on this lid here and the hinge actually opens the device. It's really, really cool. Obviously, it's it's kind of not working now. I'm giving it a try, but it's not working. I'm guessing because you have to activate the uh, yoga book here for the first time i'll try it just lying down but yep still nothing so yes obviously you have to activate the yoga book for the first time so yep we'll come back to that in the actual review for this device you can see here the e-ink screen is on even though the device isn't activated and that's the beauty of an e-ink screen over say a traditional screen is that you know it saves on battery and that screen is uh, always on. So yes, 
absolutely beautiful. Lots of different boxes here. We'll go straight for the pen, uh, which is, I'm guessing what that symbol means. <laughs> so there's the Wacom stylus. So that's 4,000 levels of pressure. And I will say that's a very nice looking stylus. That's kind of really handsome stylus. And the buttons are kind of uh, built in, leveled off. Yeah, that is nice. I'm liking the look of that. That is very um, Tony Stark. Wacom actually provides a base design which its OEM partners then change. And obviously Lenovo have done a beautiful job here with this version. No, nope, I like that. We'll talk more about that in the actual review. So I won't go through the rest of this box. Um, no doubt it's just going to be the cables, manuals, etc, etc. They're the two main things. So let's leave all of that back in there. No need to go through an unboxing at the moment. But that's it. That's everything in the box. I'm thoroughly happy with that. Um, as something that, you know, was a complete surprise. Let's just, you know, just blow my socks off. Let's just put everything back in there for the moment. And I will play with that all later. So thank you. All of this really does mean a lot. And not just the big orange box, but also being invited to become a Lenovo Insider. All of that really means a great deal to me. And I feel truly honoured to become a part of this, to become a part of Lenovo. And you'll be seeing a lot more of this in the future from me. You really will. So right now I feel very appreciated. Yeah, um, it's, it's nice to have something turn up totally out of the blue. You know, a big orange box full of goodies. <sighs> I will have that Lenovo Yogabook C930 review coming for you very soon. Showing off the e-ink screen, the other screen, the Wacom AES stylus, you know, uh, 4,000 levels of pressure, everything like that. That'll be coming soon. Hit the subscribe notification bell to see when that comes. Also, there's a Lenovo event um, coming soon. Follow me on Twitter to see exactly when that is. I'm sure I'll post pictures on Instagram. Yeah, so follow me everywhere, basically. <sighs> Quick question. Um, are you using a Lenovo device? What device are you using for your creative endeavours? Have you ever used a Lenovo device? If so, what Lenovo devices have you used? What Lenovo devices are you interested in using? I myself am very interested in Lenovo. Um, they are doing the new Oculus device. So I'm very interested in that. Um, I'm just very interested in all VR devices at the moment. So yes, hopefully gonna be doing a lot more VR stuff. Um, yes. Let me know what you think of all of this in the comments. Tweet me about it if you want to. I know a lot of you have been private messaging me on Facebook, but yes, make it public. That way other people can interact as well. That's it for now. Keep being creative above everything else. I shall speak to you very, very shortly. Have an absolutely great day. I am off to play with my giant box of goodies. See you later.